PLC Network here at CES 2023, and we're at the Asahi Kase uh, booth here. Uh, it's a conceptual, well, it's not a conceptual company, nope. uh, It's but what you have here, this is Mike, by the way. Uh, well, it, uh, do you, we'll start with you, actually. Uh, let's describe what your position is with the company. Okay, so my name's Mike Franchi. I'm the director of North American Mobility for Asahi Kase. And so what my job is, I work with all our different business units that are in the automotive sector to do product roadmaps, new business development, establish relationships with the OEMs and the tier ones. And that's really what this company is about, is uh, you're not actually like, the, we're sitting into a, inside of a concept vehicle right now. It doesn't actually drive for the moment. This is the, the, the shell. But you're really targeting the OEMs to try to see what you can offer them to get this technology in their, their, into their vehicles. Correct. So this, this vehicle, it's our image of what an autonomous vehicle interior could be. So there's no steering wheel. You can see it's more like a lounge. Oh, very and much. it features some of our material, for example, the the blue material on the inside here is our synthetic suede, so it's a sustainable material. And the color is actually digitally printed on the fabric. It it's, looks it's like it's not it a dye. So you can see it's kind of, um, it goes from lighter to darker. So it's one of the innovations that our Sage Automotive Interiors has come up with. So we're looking at a lot of sustainable products exactly. that went into the development of this. Yep, yep, that's a big, big focus of the industry. So, and, and it even has a cone of silence from yes. Get Smart. Yep. I like that. Yeah, so one of the features of this now, we don't make the, the polycarbonate material, but there's a coating on this quadrant and in the back. It's a waterborne coating for polycarbonate to protect it from scratches and dents. So it's another another sustainable material that we've or product that we've developed. And you've also developed uh, active noise canceling technology and passive canceling? Yes. Yep. So uh, we're partnering with a company called Silentium. Uh, so using our AKM uh, chips with their algorithms to cancel noise because EVs, even though they're quiet, they're really not because not. a lot of noises are were masked by combustion engines aren't there in EVs. So you get a lot of road noise, brake noise. So you need that kind of technology. You absolutely do, especially when like I have a Tesla myself, and it's a very noisy vehicle. I think mm. Tesla should talk to you guys. <laughs> I mean, I love the car. It is very fancy. It's a nice toy, but it is noisy. Mm. And beyond, it's noisier than it isn't just. Oh, I can hear the road. You know, it's, you can hear the road. I had a very noisy ice car before that, and it was way quieter yeah. <laughs> than that. And and it had a heavy, you know, six-cylinder engine and everything. I didn't hear any of it. You know, you get into a quiet car and, and there's so much more road noise. I'm like, why aren't they using active noise canceling? Why haven't they spoken to you yet? Yep, we're, we're open for business, ready, I'm to, pushing ready for to talk it. to them. And so <laughs> if you're watching this Tesla, talk to them and consider getting some active noise canceling in your vehicles. But this is really neat. And uh, so what, in terms of a timeline from concept to actually full visualization of this hitting the market, you know, what are you looking at right now? Uh, well, not like this vehicle, but the technology making it into cars. Right, so a lot of it is already available. So the, the textiles are available. They're already in, in vehicles today. Um, we have some of the, the sensors in here. So there's a, a CO2 sensor to monitor the, the CO2 level, so that's that's what it's doing now. So in an enclosed vehicle, if the canopy was down, you would see the CO2 rising. And the trouble with CO2 in an enclosed space is it leads to drowsiness. Yep. So even in an autonomous vehicle, you may not want to, to, yeah. to fall asleep. At least it's not as dangerous. Exactly. Not as dangerous, but right now it would be. We're not quite there for autonomous just yet, but... But yeah. that's neat. That's actually something you don't even think about sitting inside of a car. Yeah. And then the other thing that's good for uh, another use case is occupant detection. So if you come out of a vehicle and then it continuously monitors the CO2 level in the car, somebody comes in or a child, you know, it, it'll raise the CO2 level up as they breathe. And then if it's integrated by the OEM, they could send a signal to your smartphone saying, give you an alert that somebody's in your vehicle. And yeah. then we've also done studies where in an electric vehicle, if you use the monitor of, of CO2 levels to control the ventilation system and only turn it on when the CO2 level gets to a certain point, it extends the range of a battery electric vehicle because you're not drawing the power the whole time. Because usually people will put their ventilation system on and just leave it on, yeah. whether it's needed or not, or it's in recirculation mode. 
So that's a, that's another use case for the CO2 sensor. That's pretty exciting, actually. I like to, you know, I can't wait to see more of this in today's cars. They definitely need them, like we said. Uh, it would be nice to see something like that because when I think about some of these newer EV cars, I think of that quiet, relaxing environment. I like the spacious environment. Uh, you got building and chargers, it looks like, and everything. Yep. You thought about everything, but I like that. Like we're, I was speaking with one of your other colleagues in terms of, you know, moving past just using a vehicle as a vehicle, but you can even use it as a meeting space exactly. while you're trying to wait to get to your next destination and everything. I mean, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. You know, my car has Zoom loaded into it. I'm not quite comfortable yet using that, you know, but when we get to this level, you know, that would be fantastic to make use of some of that time. And you can't really enjoy that unless you have that relaxing kind of atmosphere to be in, you know, to really take your mind off of just the anxiety of being in traffic. Right. So something like this really opens you up to a more relaxed environment. I, like, I can't wait to see that. Yep, definitely. It's our living room on wheels, basically. It really is. So if our viewers want to learn more about Asahi Kase, where would they go? Uh, they can go to our website, asaikasemobility.com, or they can go, if they want to talk about, look at textiles, Sage Automotive, um, also look at uh, senseair.com and talk about, we have a alcohol detection sensor uh, for impaired driving. I might know a few people that need that too. <laughs> but perfect. So definitely, if you if you want to learn more about this technology and what it can offer, both modern and future cars, definitely go check out their website. And uh, well, Mike, thank you so much. You're uh, welcome. We can't wait to see what comes next from the company. All right, great. This looks exciting. Thanks. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're gonna to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff button. Click it.